So today we're going to figure out and talk about circuits in a house. What is a circuit? A circuit is a wire that's going to run from a panel box to a plug, to a plug, to a plug, to a light switch. That's a circuit. Okay? So we're going to explain a little bit about circuits. First of all, we need to know some symbols. On a set of plans, if you see this symbol, it's for a ceiling fan. If you see this one, S1 is a single pole switch. That means it's a light that's turned on from one place. This symbol is for a 120 volt outlet. This one is for a 220 volt outlet. This one is for a light. Now, let's say that this is a bedroom and we're going to put it on its own circuit. So that means we're going to run the wire from the panel box to this circuit. So the first thing we need to know is where does everything go? All right, so we have a door here that comes in and usually they swing towards the wall. So that means right here, we're going to put a switch box. Now you notice I put S1, S1, because if you're wiring for a ceiling fan, you're gonna wire one for the light and one for the fan. So you can turn them on separately or turn them off separately. So I have a two gang box there. This closet is long and narrow, so it doesn't need a light in it. So we're not gonna put a light in it. If we did, we would put the switch box someplace on the outside, and then it would have to be part of the circuit. So the next thing, once we've located light switches, we're going to locate the outlets. Now code says that I need to have an outlet no further than six feet. Okay, what does that mean? That means no place on the wall can be more than six feet from an outlet. So, in figure this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this door and I'm going to measure over until I come to six feet. Then I'm going to put that outlet symbol. The next outlet can be up to 12 feet. Because if I put something in the middle, it's either six feet to this one or six feet to that one, it meets code. So I'm going to measure up to 12 feet and put the outlet symbol. Measure 12 more feet, outlet symbol, 12 feet, outlet symbol. Now, if this distance is more than six feet, I have to add another outlet. If it's six feet or under, I'm good. So I'm going to say that this is less than six feet. All right. Now, that leaves this wall right here. If this wall is more than two feet, it has to have an outlet. So this feet is it's different several of this. So this wall is going to need an outlet. So now I have all my outlets identified where approximately I'm going to put them. Once I have my outlets located, I got my boxes nailed up, then I'm going to run my wire. So the wire is going to come from the panel box. So when I do this, I want to go to the closest item on the circuit. So it's either going to be this one or this one, whichever one's closest. So I'm just going to pick this one. So I'm going to run my wire from the panel box and I'm going to run it into that outlet. Then I'm going to run a wire from that outlet to this outlet and all the way around connecting each outlet. Now, I'm going to put this switch on this also. 
So instead of going to this outlet and then back to this, I can go from this outlet to the switch box, then over to the outlet. Now, how many of these things can I put on here? Well, code says I can put up to 12. So if you count what we have, we've got one, two, three, four. You have to count this as two, one for the light kit, one for the fan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items on this which would be a good circuit, because most of the time you want to have somewhere between six and nine. You usually don't want to get 12 on there, but you can get up to 12. All right, so that's my circuit. From panel box to outlet to outlet to outlet to outlet to two gang box to my outlet. Okay, that would be one circuit. If you had another bedroom, it would probably get its own circuit. A third bedroom, it would get its own circuit, and so on. You get one for the living room, one for the dining room. Those all get different types of circuits, okay? Now, let's go to the kitchen, because the kitchen is a little bit different. Where I had six and 12, and I could put 12 items on here, in the kitchen, you can't do that. So, some of the codes that you have to have for a kitchen. First of all, you have to have a minimum of two plug circuits. So I've got two countertops, so that means I would run a, wire, a circuit to this one, and I would run a separate circuit to that one. Okay? Now, code says that I can put up to six items on a kitchen circuit. But rarely is that done. Most of the time they don't put more than three. Okay? So I would come over here and I would put an outlet. I put another outlet here. Now this little cabinet here, if it's more than 12 inches, it has to have a plug. So I said that that one's 12 inches, so I have to have a plug for that one, and I have to have a plug behind the refrigerator to plug my refrigerator in. Okay? Now on this side, it's the same thing. I'm going to start at this end. I'm going to put a plug, a plug, and a plug over here. Now this, this one is kind of a toss-up. I could put one there if I want to, or I could put two. So I got extra things to plug into. So if you're running a coffee pot and you're running a uh, griddle or something. You can plug them both in at the same time over there. Okay? Well, we'll leave it for one. All right. Now, on your sink, if you have a disposal, it has to have a plug also, but a disposal is a dedicated circuit, which means it has to have its own home run. Okay? If I have a microwave above my stove, it has to have its own home run. Okay? That is a dedicated circuit. If, let's say I have a dishwasher next to my sink, it would get an outlet with a dedicated circuit. Okay, so one circuit, the plug circuit is going to go to here, to here, and now I got two more on here. But I say, well, I can put six, but I generally don't want to do that. So possible would be to run a separate circuit running the outlet here and the refrigerator. Okay. On this wall, I would run from this outlet to this outlet to that outlet. Okay? So in the, in the kitchen, I've got one, two, three plug outlets, circuits. I've got dedicated for the dishwasher, dedicated for the disposal, dedicated for the microwave. Okay? What else do I need in there? 
Well, I need something to run the stove. If it's a gas stove, it's going to get a 120 volt outlet. If it's an electric stove, it's going to get a 220 outlet. So let's say this one's going to be electric. So then I would need to put the 220 volt symbol behind the range so that we know that it's going to be a 220 volt circuit. Okay. Now, GFIs. Kitchen has to have GFIs because there's water in the kitchen. Where would the GFIs go? GFIs have to be on the first item of the circuit. So in my case, in my, dem my example here, this one would have to be a GFI. This one would have to be a GFI. This one would also have to be a GFI. Okay? Now, here's a question. Let's say that the power wire came into this outlet behind the fridge. Which one of these two would get the GFI? Well, in this case, this one would. Why? What would happen if you put the GFI behind the refrigerator and it tripped? What would you have to do? You'd have to move the refrigerator out, reset it, put the refrigerator back. You don't want to have to do that every time you trip the GFI. So in this case, the GFI would go on the second item on the circuit. Okay? And now your lights in your kitchen, they would be on a separate circuit, probably maybe a light circuit or maybe a, kit, a separate kitchen circuit. If you added in all of maybe a light over the sink, maybe you've got some under the counter lights, under the um, cabinet lights, so you might have a kitchen circuit that's just strictly for your lights. If not, you can add these two lights onto another circuit. Okay? There is no set way to run your circuits. Okay? So this gives you a quick overview of how circuits work, some of the codes that go along with those circuits. So six feet apart on these, which means, or three feet apart, which means they can be up to six feet apart. You can have six of them on there, but usually you don't go that many. It's better to have more circuits, that way you won't trip them if you're running multiple things. So this would be a kind of a good example of how many circuits it would take just to run a kitchen.